Hey uh, folks, so just a real quick video because I'm kind of working on something else right now and I can't really clear off my desk to work on this, but I do want to update you. Um, I did a video very, very recently on these uh, Retro 6 and Funny Playing IPS Ready shells. There is something in my initial review that I did not even catch and it's definitely worth mentioning because I don't want to mislead people. Now, the original Retro 6 shell, or the original, the Retro 6 shell that I did the build in, um, I had zero issues with it as far as the trim goes. Um, I mean, granted, I didn't like having to use a bracket, but it's fine. I mean, use a bracket, it goes together just fine. However, on the Bunny Playing one, which... Unfortunately, I have my Funny Playing Game Boy Advance set up as a cable holder right now, so that's can't really take that apart and show you. But I have another one here that I was just building up. Um, I actually did have to trim a little bit more of the material to fit this IPS kit. Now, the other IPS kits like the ribbon cable style, these fit just fine without trimming, which is why I didn't test it, because in my original Funny Playing build, I had one of these. Um, however, I ended up transferring the kit over, and that's when I noticed that. The Funny Playing ribbons also work perfectly fine, but if you want to use one of these new one-chip ribbons in your Funny Playing IPS Ready shell, you do have to trim a little bit of... You have basically have to trim this wall off from the bottom of this d-pad area all the way through that second post of the start select. You don't have to trim anything else um, and that is only to fit this PCB otherwise it sits at a horrible angle and nothing lines up and it it, uh, it, it just doesn't fit that way. So just a little bit of trimming required. Yeah, I'm sorry I didn't catch this in my initial review um, but I mean at least I'm making it known now? I don't know. Uh, but anyway, I hope this helps. I am going to try and take a little, try and take this apart a little bit and get some pictures so I can post. Uh, but otherwise, if you guys any, have any questions, feel free to hit me in, up in the comments. My opinion still stands. I still like these funny playing shells significantly better than the Retro 6 ones. Um, in this shell, I did actually use the adhesive, and this isn't the screen lens I'm going with, but it just it looks so good. I only put this on here for this particular build because I don't know where the other screen lens is and I don't want to get my fingerprints all over the screen, but it, I mean, it just went together so smoothly and you could see the adhesive in there on the side there. Worked out really nice. But anyway, yes, a little bit of trim is required. Sorry I didn't catch that in my original video. Um, but otherwise, that's all I have. Thanks for watching.